Hey everyone, it's Shane from Rad City E-Bike Vlog. Today I wanted to demonstrate the climbing ability with the Rad City. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go up that hill there and I'm going to be using Pedosis 3 which will keep my bike one, two, three and it'll keep my wattage at around 450 watts in the mid 400s and that's going to be with what Rad Power Bikes recommends for climbing hills, keeping it under 500 watts. So I'm going to be using that. Um, and this hill here, I looked it up. The max peak is about 10.6% grade with about, I would say, an average of 8, eight to 9%. So pretty steep. And I've done this hill on my wife's cruiser bike and by the time I get up this hill, it's, I'm sweating. It's super difficult. So we're gonna try it out on my bike and compare. So let's get moving. And just keep in mind, I'm doing this with one hand. So we'll see how difficult it is. All right. So you can see that the bike is outputting 446 watts and it's, we're going up the hill right now all right it's getting a little bit more difficult my rpm is dropping or sorry my miles per hour is dropping here okay and this will kill me because i gotta actually stop and obey the rules all right let's keep going again and here i'm probably stopping on a six percent grade and now we're I think this is probably like the eight or nine percent here. Um, bike pumping out 425 watts. I'm climbing, I'm in gear number two. And um, I mean, I'm doing this with one hand. Maybe I can do this with no hands. Oh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, wow, that was actually no problem. Like I said, I did that climb with my wife's cruiser bike and I mean by this point I would be completely dying here I know for sure I would have a sweat droplet or two running down my face and in this part it's pretty easy it's probably like three percent and then it tapers off here up to the street light I hope you found this video helpful and yeah go by the Rad City uh, don't worry about it being a gearless hub motor. It'll, it'll take you up hills. Um, if you need to climb, you know, really steep hills on loose terrain, then maybe I would probably consider getting a geared uh, motored bike. But for everyday purposes, I mean, you're rarely going to encounter um, steep hills, you know, on a normal commute, at least not, you know, 10%. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Sorry, one more thing. Um, when climbing hills, remember to drop your gears down to a comfortable cadence. If you leave it in one of the higher gears and your cadence gets too slow and you're going up a steep hill, um, remember that the motor kicks in with your cadence. Um, there's six magnets on, you know, on the pedals here. So if your cadence is too slow, it might not trigger the, trigger the motor to turn on and your motor might shut off. So just a little tip, um, if you're climbing hills, remember to keep that cadence going by lowering your gear so that the motor stays on and it doesn't cut out on you uh, mid-hill. All right, thanks guys.